Okay. Let me get my drink for this one. Oh, man. The next question says, who was the freakiest in the relationship between you both? Look, let's be clear, I ain't never took a loss Every time I go shopping, I ain't gotta check the cost Still independent, still my own boss Still got bad bitches coming up they draws Keep the beat up like a motherfucking Frito Lucci flame hot like a motherfucking Cheeto This is not an act, I am not Don Cheeto Slut a nigga out, treat him like a free code Yeah, you heard right, I'm a whole ass gangster Made him eat my butt, I ain't even say thank What's you. up, Lucci gang? It's your girl, Lucci V And welcome back to my channel You like that? <laughs> Yeah, welcome back to my channel, y'all. We back for Vlogmas Day 20. I think is it it's about to be the 20th of tomorrow. Yeah. Vlogmas Day 20, and we are in for a special treat, something I never did before, y'all. QA with my ex. Oh my gosh, y'all then got messy with the questions, but we're gonna answer them. You guys remember my ex Sunshine. Hi, it's me. <laughs> yeah, y'all. <laughs> we up the Chardonnay. So we came to play. We're going to answer the questions. We don't care how juicy they are. So if you would like to see what's going on with me and Sunshine, I gave you a little link now. Yeah. Then stay tuned to this video right here. But first, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. And let's get it. Okay. Okay, y'all. We in for a treat today. QA with my ex. Q&A with my ex. We're going to get right into it. Before we get to going to the questions that I had you guys submit on Instagram, I got a question for you. What you been up to since you haven't been with me? Bored. Okay, yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Not, just not living life till it's fullest, you know? That's what I like to hear. Like, I just, <laughs> nah, um, I just been on, you know, unfortunately to say the same shit. Just making money and, you know, getting my shit together. So, how many people did you date after me? Mm, I believe only, only one. And y'all, it was Cleo from Set It Off. But anyway, so. <laughs> no shame, Miss Cleo, if you watch this. No shame. Ain't no, oh wrong, with, ain't no wrong with setting it off, sister. Oh ain't no wrong with setting it off, my girl. But anyway, so. <laughs> how many females you date after this? Zero. Oh, okay. I have been in no relationship with no other girl. I did talk to this girl. Ah, waste of time. But it wasn't a serious it was one a waste for real. Of time. I ain't never cracked her none, so it was she a, ain't never get the experience to it was a waste, it was a waste of time. So it was a stripper too, I bet. I'm sure. I mean, she wasn't a, she wasn't a stripper. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. Still was a waste. But any I mean, you know, I do love strippers, though, but you know, she wasn't a stripper. But okay, so the first question, we already answered this in like one of our old, old videos when we were still together. But they asked again, they want to know, how did we meet? And we told y'all before we met at a video shoot. <laughs> and, um, well, technically, that's not how we met. Oh, that's okay. How yeah. We well, yeah, that's how talking. I, okay, yeah. But that's okay. not how we, she, she thought I was a crackhead <laughs> when we first met. She said I was entirely too skinny when we first met. And I'm like, dang, you ain't even give me a chance to gain my weight. She ain't even see what the cheeks look like for real. She sent me in regular clothes. But yeah. But no, you remember when I used to see you? Like, okay, so y'all know one of my friends that was selling dance clothes. Y'all know, like, when I used to see you, you would just be coming to pick up the dance clothes real quick. So you would just yeah. be in your sweats and your little glasses and just boop, 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 come. So I really wasn't paying no attention. Like, it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, she had so many customers that just come get the outfit, come get the outfit. So I really wasn't, like, in your face like that to really, like, get into you or get into the. The but one shaker. thing she knew was that I was skinny as hell. Oh yeah, you was Lilla. You was Lilla than a mother. Yeah, you was like this big, uh -huh. like on my soul. I'm oh, scared. Nah. I'm scared. Not I'm so much you. on me because I'm scared. Don't break you, honey. I mean, still you. I mean, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie about that. You definitely still had the rump, rump shaky on me because I was looking. I'm like, okay, it's, it's giving letter P. The legs was little, but that joint had the. Okay. You did the period challenge before the period challenge. Yeah. Okay, period. So I okay, so I did I saw her plenty of times prior to the video shoot, but I didn't really pay that much attention to her. But this yeah. particular day at the video shoot, she had gained a little weight or something. I'm like, oh no, what the She had the little cheeks out, you know what I'm saying? She had the I'm like, oh who is this with these with these cheeky at this video shoot? So I had asked her at the video shoot, like, you you want to be my girlfriend in the video? Mm -hmm. She was like, Yeah. So I was like, okay, yeah, she must like girls. I was trying to test the waters to see if she was going or not. She ain't even know. Y'all trying to test the wall. Let me see. I'm like, let me see if she with the rainbow. If she wanted it, because if she wasn't, I still was going. You know, I reach. I try to get her to go anyways. I wouldn't care. 
I wouldn't care. I was gonna still try to get you to go. You ain't even have to ever like no kitty cat before in your life. And I was still going, yeah, come here, Shorty Low. Yeah, so she had a girlfriend at the time. <laughs> she had a girlfriend at the time. And I told her, is, is you gonna leave your girlfriend for me? And she said, yeah. So I was like, okay, well, she... that was the first day I met her. I asked her, is you gonna leave her for me? She said, yeah. So I was like, okay, well, I can pursue her then. And it was history from there. Yeah, we really, it literally was like, it literally was like, we kept, I, I asked yeah. you, did you want to keep hanging out with me? Yeah. We kept hanging out the rest of that night. And, and then, then like, we started going together yeah. <laughs> for real. Like, that's so crazy. Lesbian stuff is so crazy. Like, it's like, I like you, you like me. Okay, we go together. Okay, we, you whatever. Like, so that's really how it started, y'all. We went on a, a date and. Yeah. You remember what happened at, at that day? Dang. Age? Wait. Oh, yeah. That first day when all the little Instagram comedians and stuff was there. And I had on that little brown dress. And my lace was up. So you gave me a hat to wear. So I'd be cute. That was not the first day. That wasn't our first day? That was my, that was my cousin party. Our first day was when we went out with Lassie. And you remember? Oh, you remember what happened outside his house in the rain? Oh, I do. Yeah. Oh, after that, after that oh. first date, I ate that thing out the fire. In the rain. All outside. Yeah, oh, he's acting real bad. Yeah, she, and then I was her wig was off when she came back in the my house. My wig was her. off, my lashes was gone. I go back in the house. My friends like, yo, what happened? I'm like, what? I'm trying to act regular. Like, no, I couldn't even act regular. The wig was gone, the lashes was gone. Everybody knew what had happened. I was so mad because I had on this one piece outfit and I could not get it <laughs> off good enough in the car so I could get my cat a two. She thought I was on my period, but I'm like, no, I ain't no. I, Girl, I'll let you do this, girl, but I can't get this motherfucker off in the car. Like, goddamn. And so I had him. a truck, so. Yeah. It, was, it was just going to be too much to be taking off a whole <laughs> one-piece bodysuit, cat suit in the car to get the cat. Like, if I would have had something easy, like custom little leggings, I could have just slipped off right quick. That would have been different. Okay. So, let's go to the next question I oh, had you guys God. ask. Somebody says, what is something y'all learned about the way you are in relationships while with each other? Either things you could work on and change or things that you appreciate about the way that you are. You can go first. The question was what basically what you taught me. What's something you learned like or just like not even what I taught you just like re like after you read, you know, how you like reevaluate like how things were in a relationship, like looking back, like. What is something that you feel like you took away, like that you learned, like moving forward, that maybe you would do different, or you the, know what I'm saying? The biggest thing that I took away from my relationship is um, staying positive. Really, um, it used to be the smallest things that could get me upset, and my attitude is really, really messed up. Like when my money messed up, of course everybody get mad at that, but my mad was a different type of mad. Baby, um, baby, no, forget the money. Your mad was the hungry, baby. Yeah. Y'all think people get hangry? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Ain't got nothing on Miss Mama's hangry. She take hangry to a whole nother level. I need, uh, you know, like, you type person. Be hungry you type person. So you you got to have, like, a Lunchable in the backpack I at do, all times. You got I that now? Oh, okay, yeah, because you. That's why I got the snacks. I mean, I, yeah, I saw you got snacks now. I'm just saying, like. Uh, but I'm glad you saw what I told you. saw what I told you. When you was like, I don't think I need one. I said, all right, all right, you going to need some. I had to prepare myself, baby. You ain't finna get me tonight, Miss Mama's. Mm-mm. But um, one of the biggest things I took away was basically um, thinking before I reacted. Um, no, like noticing that certain people didn't deserve my responses to certain things. Mm -hmm. And I want to say I learned a lot more patience, and I learned how to not be a what. I was single for a long time. Honestly, I was single for a long time. I had to learn how to love myself, which made me not even want to get into another relationship. Shorty, she just came out nowhere. Who? Cleo? It was, it was natural, folks. Oh, Cleo. Natural introduced me to Miss Natural, you introduced me to Cleo. <laughs> natural introduced me to Cleo. 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 Natural introduced Luchi, it's been five years. It don't seem like it, but it's been five years. I know. I saw that on the memory on the Facebook. That's memory. crazy that's, to that me. That is crazy. That's insane. So, but yeah, patience. Patience is a virtue. Forgiveness and learning how to just calm down before I react when I'm upset. That's yeah. my biggest thing. I feel like what I learned is I need to like, I needed to like, have a breaking point like you know what i'm saying like i feel like 
I was allowing like the things that we were going through to like consume me. You remember I got really, really skinny and all that. Like, I feel like I was letting it like consume me and stress me out too much and like take over my whole everything. I, I couldn't barely write no music or nothing. Like, I really feel like I should have like knew a limit to be like, okay, enough is enough before I reached that point to where I just felt like I couldn't function. No Somebody more. said, I want to know what was y'all favorite meal y'all would cook for one another? Oh, I never cooked. Oh, one cheese. another? I'm about to say one another? <laughs> you mean what I was cooking? Miss Mama's cooked for me one My time some chicken and rice. And I had to beg and plead and cry and scratch. Was it good though? It was good. I think her favorite meal I made for her was some jerk chicken. No, the pasta. Oh, the yeah, the Cajun spice, pasta. the Cajun pasta. Yeah, you do like that. That's, it. that's my what I was thinking. Absolute favorite. Absolutely. The Cajun pasta. Um, we already answered. Okay, what do you miss the most about each other? You go first. Everything. <laughs> but no, honestly, um, I miss the positivity. Like, whenever I get down, even though with the smallest thing, you always tell me, like, for instance, when I tell you, like, oh, somebody just canceled the book, and you'll be like, it's okay. You'll get another one soon. And, like, literally a couple hours later, here come two bookers coming through. So, you know, just, yeah. yeah. Um, what I think I miss the most about us being together is like always having somebody there, like always having a friend, like it's like if I got like an exciting moment, like an accomplishment or whatever, like I feel like now I don't really have anybody but my family that I feel like, oh, I'm about to call and tell my brother or my mom like I always had somebody that I could be like, oh, I could share my accomplishments with and I could like share my happy moments with and like know that it was like they was genuinely happy for me too and not just being on some phony shit or like trying to use me for some clout or like trying to advance in some kind of way. Like, oh, she got this opportunity. I might could latch on her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, I always knew that like, you know, this is really my girlfriend. So she really was happy for me because if I get something like she know that she a part of it too. So it's like, we both become successful at that point. So I miss like our companionship, our friendship. I really miss our friendship, but like she don't want to be my friend, y'all. She she keeps saying no. I be trying to be. Y'all could tell her that it's been five years. We could get back together. <laughs> I'm a different person. I, I even gained weight. I mean, I'm a whole nother person. Hey, my that's... voice even different. Your voice, your voice sound the same. First of all, no, I lost my voice. Probably like I forget. It was. But I like, the, the booty. The booty ago. is bigger. I looked at it today when she walked in. I was like, I did. That was. Yeah. I got little titties too. It was a, yeah. yeah. Don't lie, <laughs> I was looking a little, you know what I'm saying? A little but marshmallowy yeah. over there. Okay, y'all, y'all go ahead and tell like it's been five years. The grace period over with. It's a grace period when you break up. Did you have a grace period? You got a grace period with your other exes or just me? Um, honestly, after you, that was the longest I was ever single. Yeah, I, I know. That's what I was. Right I was surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised because you know your you fans was on my ass, baby. I couldn't even try to yeah. If I oh baby, to. oh baby, they was telling me everything, baby. She first of all, I don't even follow her on Snapchat, baby. They was screen recording, sending stuff from other people's Snapchat. Oh, 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 oh baby, that was everything, baby. Parties that she was booked at, people, groups, everything, baby. People I didn't even know sending me videos like, "Hey, this your ex girlfriend right here at the party? She dancing like, on this dude." I'm like, "Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Stuff. baby, they was telling me all you." Y'all know I love y'all team, Lucci, because y'all be scoping the scene, scoping the scene. Okay, hear you. Okay, um, so this question, y'all, is a little like, I don't know if they was a little foreign and they, they said, is she more funny than her ex? So I don't know if they mean that like, am, is, am I funnier than her or if they're asking, is she funnier than my most current ex? So, I mean, I guess we can answer both of them. So who's funnier between me and you? You. Well, I don't know, because I'm a little hilarious, too, but you hilarious as fuck, so... You, I'm probably more you, silly you, than her. Like, I'm more goofy, like, Ed from Good Burger, like, <laughs> glue some french fries to my forehead type. Like, I'm more goofy than her, I feel like. Like, yeah. silly, I act like a clown all the time. You always got a damn joke or a yeah. comeback. Yeah, it's like, I think I'm more goofy <laughs> than her. I'm more, I play too much, pretty much. Is she funnier than my ex? <laughs> Y'all messy for that. I don't. I don't know. I think I'm the funniest, so I don't, I don't compare that. Niggas don't be funny, but they do be jokes. <laughs> so next, ah, okay. So who was the man in the relationship, <laughs> Lucci? <laughs> like, I mean, I'm. I, I told y'all before. Now I had this conversation with y'all before. I told y'all like when I date a man, I'm most submissive. 
when I date a woman, I'm I'm aggressive. Like I bitch. Yeah. And that's why I yeah. hardly ever date films because I need to be the submissive in the relationship. So if I got to give me a stud to do that, then I'm gonna do that. You want to be with your wanna man, so that's bad. not that's not. She want to be with your wanna no, man, just so like, bad. Just like, like you said with our companionship, how you knew that I didn't want nothing extra from you. These other bitches, they be trying to like. They be faking to women first off, and then they be take a sip. oh, can you teach me how to strip? Y'all gotta uh, take a sip. I'm killing my cup. She ain't I even was drinking mine too. Let me do it at the same Look, time. At the, at the same, same time, Craig, at the same place. At the same time, Craig, at the same time. Y'all see anyway. Ebony and Avery, you see chocolate and vanilla. She thinks she not light skin. Chocolate, but. vanilla. Girl, this vanilla look like this, baby. This, this oh, at least this toasted melanin. caramel. This caramel, this, this brown butter, this brown melanin. butter cookie. This brown butter cookie. Yours is like butterscotch. Nah, that's too yellow. Don't do that. Butterscotch is Baby, your skin ain't butterscotch. No shade. <laughs> that's Let, y'all comment down below. Let us know what color of skin, butterscotch or chocolate. First of all, if people could be trans anything, I'm trans melanated. Okay? I identify as brown skin. Thank you. If you call me light skin as a hate crime, you're going to jail. Comment down below if her skin tone butterscotch, y'all. Let me you're know. You're going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> so someone said, did y'all ever live together? And we did immediately as soon as we got together. She came over and ain't never go home. That's what. <laughs> that's just what it was. For y'all who don't know, that's how lesbian relationships go. We, we, was, we was planning to get married at one point. Like, for real. We and were saying, we're going to go to the house, watch the little women, bring it. Like, That's about, we was only together stuff. two weeks. We was only together two weeks, and we were talking, some, let's go to Vegas and get married. We were so it delusional. Was. We were so delusional. We should have, though. That's crazy, because we almost really did it, though. We should have. We really almost did that. We That's should've. crazy. Really we delusional. Should've. Only knew each other two weeks, and was like, let's go to Vegas and get married. Delusional. We should have. Like, lesbians are so delusional. I don't think we was delusional. We like, were. We didn't even know each other. But in the same sense... Well, I don't know. I guess you couldn't really deal with my attitude back then. But see, I didn't know yet. Remember, right, that's when I had for that that's first little true. incident. I was like, "Whoa, what's <laughs> going on here?" Oh, she was just cool. Now hold on, baby. Who was this new person I'm meeting here? She flipped it to a whole nother person. She said, I flipped it to a whole nother person one day, and I was like, "Oh, it was like we had been together like three weeks, and everything was perfect and peachy keen." I'm like, "Dang, yes, I love it here." And then it was like one day. That's when I met the motherfucking side effects. Huh. Yeah, I ain't know that she turned into that person that she had turned into. She had scared me, y'all. She was just, she just got mean out of nowhere. And I'm like, damn, it's all right. Baby, you was, baby, you was real nice these <laughs> first three weeks. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this person? <laughs> I was, I was, I, she didn't know I was that poly yet. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that yet. So, yeah, that's, yeah. that's okay. Let me get my drink for this one. Oh, man. The next question says, who was the freakiest in the relationship between you both? I think y'all already know that. Excuse me. I'm the freak of leak. Yeah, I know I'm the freak of leak. People be thinking because I'm a stripper. Yeah, I was going to say, now, now everybody always freak. thought, everybody always thought, like, oh, I know. It'd be crazy. Now. I know she'd get. But I used to be like, they don't even know. I'm the wild one. I'm the real one that be trying to get a crack in all the time. Literally. Literally. Yeah. Where were you guys' first dinner dates? Um, <laughs> um was it Bar Louis? Bar Louis was our first dinner date? I think it was. Was it? I remember what our last dinner date was. Benihana. I think it was Bar You took me to Benihana. Yeah. I think it was Bar Louis. Bar Louis? Well, I mean, I love Bar Louis, so it probably was that. Yeah. Bar Louis got this, the deals and the drinks <laughs> and the food. Yeah. Was, hey, they I happy hour? I believe it was definitely. Hey, if, you, hey, if you're from Chicago, you already know Bar Louis happy hour is that girl. <laughs> and that new location they got on Prentice Row, cracking. Love it there. But they did, hold on now, because they did try to add a little something to my bill the last time I went there. Y'all wasn't slick. I had caught y'all, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Um. Someone says. Since y'all broke up, have you guys still been bumping purses? <laughs> bumping purses is crazy. For those who don't know, they mean have we been bumping cats, playing bumper cats. Y'all know that good old fashioned game, bumper cats. They want to know how we've been playing. We're not in the past 
like four years. The first year we broke up, we was kind of playing bumper cats occasionally, sometimes. But you remember, you remember, but you remember the last time I, I had stopped because you remember the last time we played bumper cats, you went crazy. You remember you cussed me out like a lot of uh, real bad. Do you remember that? You remember that? You don't want to talk about it? Okay. That was the first time I had sucked your toes that night. I had one. <laughs> Cause why would she do that? Like <laughs> you sent me that text message like, why would you do that if you don't want to be with me? Blah, blah, blah. I was out at the party, like you I was out at a party, y'all. I was not answering her calls because I was out at a party. So I did not want to answer while the music was blasting and blah blah blah. So I tried to text before I could compose the text. She get the text to me. Oh, you not answering the phone. Blah, 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 blah. And why would you fuck me like that and do all of that to me if you don't want to be together with me? Or blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm in the party like, it's just coming like, bling, 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 bling. I'm in the party like, what's going on? What did I do? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not, like, I used to be the disrespectful type that'll show up to your crib. But I didn't want to be like that with her. Like, that y'all, was, keep in mind, y'all, I was all the way in Iowa. I was all the way in Iowa. Nobody told you that. I was all the way in Iowa for a booking, y'all. And I would have still sat outside her crib till I was saying, come outside this motherfucker. I don't give a fuck how many days it took. Yeah, that was, I was looking at all, it was in the party, like, bing, 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 bing. I'm like, I'm on the stage, like, what's it going on? Like, so that was the last time we played Bumper Cats. That was like probably like four years ago. And we haven't since then. So, no, we don't currently still play uh, Bump Purses, y'all. Sorry to disappoint y'all, because I know y'all probably was like, ooh, the visual wasn't going to say <laughs> So, um, what is your biggest regret in, your, in y'all's relationship? Breaking up. Well, it's like, no, mine is really not trying harder. It really is. And... Not appreciating the fact that you really went out your way to figure out how to deal with me being bipolar just so we could stay together. And I wasn't reciprocating what you were giving. So that's my biggest regret. Um, what's my biggest regrets? Um I feel like I feel like, okay, like, so you know, like the first time we broke up or whatever, like when you know, you remember what our agreement was. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we move forward. Like, we going to, you know, figure that shit out. Look into it. Like, I feel like mm -hmm. if I would have stood on business more, like, no, you have to do this. We have to figure out how to deal with this. Like, bipolar Taylor, we have to. Like, I feel like if I would have really stood on business more, you would have put more effort into it. But it was like, once we got back together, I kind of wasn't like, I would bring it up occasionally, but I, I wasn't pressing the issue enough. Like, no, we have to figure this shit out. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if I would have stood on business more, maybe like we probably would have never, I don't know, maybe you would have did something we might not have broke up. I don't know. Maybe we would have, like, I do feel like everything happens for a reason though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I feel like maybe it was meant for us to be a part to evolve into these people that we are today you know what i'm saying so you already know how i am with like the universe and all of that like i do believe that everything happens for a reason but if i do have one regret it would be that that i wanted to like put more pressure on her to like figure out like you know what i'm saying because i mean like at the end of the day like nobody really could say like oh you supposed to do this to deal with bipolar you supposed to do that because i feel like it's different for each person in each situation it's like Medication may work for this person, but it don't work for the next person. Therapy may work for this person, but it don't work for the next person. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like if we if we would have spent more time on figuring out what exactly worked for you in that moment, then I feel like we would have been further. And I feel like I kind of should have like I knew that you kind of weren't really like wanted to face it just because of things you knew about the medication and all that. So I feel like maybe I, I should have took more initiative on like forcing it to be something. But but it also shouldn't have been your initiative to take. It should have been mine. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. We both could have pushed harder on, like, the mental health aspect yeah. of it. Because, I mean, I feel like that's really... We weren't really having any of the issues besides yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I feel like, really. Yeah. No, seriously. It was just like, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I don't really feel like... I mean, I wasn't cheating or nothing. I couldn't cheat if I wanted to. Like so, yeah. I, mean, I clearly I feel like, couldn't cheat if I wanted to. I feel like yeah, that was like the big. Yeah, that the was big the only. Reason. Okay, this next question says, "How did Sunshine feel about your fame or clout that you had? Did it ever bother her with the attention you got from other females or males?" 
Well, first of all, I fell in love with her off of TV, so she been had the clout. So, of course, it couldn't bother me if I already knew where she came from. I could see if she, I didn't know who she was, but I did. So, no, it didn't bother me. The only time it really bothered me was when I tried to take you to bookings with me. And it was more so focused on who she was than trying She's to like, tell us. She's like, like, you ain't know me. I'm like, ah, 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 ah. Like, yeah, like, we the strippers. Y'all steady in her face. Like, how are you? Are you? But see, you remember, like, you? her ex-girlfriend right. used to go to her bookings with her, and it will be regular. But with me, I used to always tell her, like, nah, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Because I'm like... I'm home from TV. I can't just be in somebody's crib like, hey, how you doing? And, and be they regular. Really they like, hey. like, yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, yeah. like But um the way I mean I yeah, think only one time home. I think only one time you got mad. What, that New Year's party? And no, um, not even public. It was I ain't gonna say her name because she popular, but it was Yeah, just, I was just about to speak on that bitch. It was one popular uh, one particular yeah, uh, girl. Yeah. One particular uh, Instagram it's, it's model. For sure. It's, I didn't definitely, I feel <laughs> the niggas I didn't really care about because I know that when she in a relationship, like she only for and with that person. Like when she with, was with me, she, you better not have been looking at other bitches, but she wasn't focused on no niggas. So I wasn't worried about no niggas, but these bitches, she knew I ain't got it all. So she knew not to entertain it too much. And she knew that I was very sensitive. So I never saw anything that made me jump off the edge like and it wasn't like i was a secret so i couldn't feel no type of way about how people yeah yeah. it was like it was one particular her. instagram model that i used to like kind of like have a little situation with in the past or whatever and she used to just comment stuff on my page purposely to make her man and she would get mad every time and i would try to like she doing this all because she, like she, did. she didn't want to fight and that was the only <laughs> thing like bitch don't antagonize me and try to piss me off and you will never see me anyway. i feel like i feel like only sometimes you would get kind of mad like if i be under like somebody post or I say something like, oh, you you think it's your friend or something like that? Because you'll be like, no, ah. when it came to friends, like no, friends that I knew, no, sometimes friends that I knew I didn't care. Sometimes you would say something because you remember I said something to you and I was like, well, how come you allowed to do under the twins in them posts oh. and you'll be saying that to them? And then you was like, oh, okay, well, now I understand. Because she'll try to bug up on me at first because you think everybody like me. And they do. They don't though. You think everybody like me? I be like, oh, this is my friend. She probably likes you. I be like, she don't even like me. She don't even like girl. My gut don't lie to me. That's one <laughs> thing about it. My gut that took me to a bitch front door because I knew my bitch was behind that door cheating on me. So my gut ain't never lied to me. My gut telling me a bitch like you, that bitch <laughs> like you, and I uppercut her. Uh, the uppercut is crazy. What's your favorite song by Lucci V, Sunshine? It's going to always be Freak Baby <laughs> at the top of the... Baby, what? Please don't get this started because that's going to be on my comments on my where's the video. That's what I told y'all. When I lose 15 pounds, I'm shooting a video. I'm sh- I want to shoot the video for 2024. I ain't going to lie. Because even though years later, I, I, I track my highest streaming song and still to this day freak is always the highest streaming every week oh freak and oh runner up definitely very close to smoke smoke is my shit oh yeah everybody smoke likes smoke show my shit and you know what all the boys like smoke like that's why i know like, for real smoke give me legs for baby so that bitch come on my foot on the gas and every day. <laughs> no this that's so crazy one of my homeboys he's like gee i ain't gonna lie i was swerving that one because the smoke came i was like i started swerving that one no, for said, real that b everything you were saying like that song just all together just but free that song just it's still in my sh- it's still and that's so crazy because them y'all both of them is y'all favorites too it's it's still day, still in my show video. I'm still doing a video. And I'm still going to be in it. I'm still doing and a video. I'm still gonna be in it. And I'm still going to be in it. And I'm still going to be in it. Because that was the original plan, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. And she, she already, you already cussed me out the last time I saw you. Yeah, I told her, like, I ain't, cannot. Yeah. Mandatory can't be. All these videos that she done made that I ain't been in, baby, this is the only. So they said. Oh, do no. you do you guys see each other getting back together ever? Yo, let me say your name. Benesi, Benesi, you're messy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can go first. <laughs> no, the fuck, I can't because I say loud and proud every fucking year. Take me back, Lucci. Um, I feel like I feel like we have to get to know each other again because. I feel like I don't know her anymore. Like, I mean, I still know you, but I haven't been around you like that in so long. Okay. Like, 
to see my like, growth. Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's like you know, you tell me like, oh, I ain't that, I ain't on that no more. Mm-hmm. I don't be tweaking like that. I don't do the attitude, all that shit no more. So it's like I just need to see, see it. it for myself because actions speak louder than words. At the end of the day, I just want to say like, that road rage don't count. Okay. No, road rage. No, hell out. no, because you know they get crazy with road rage in Chicago. They pow, pow, pow you. I ain't trying to get pow, pow because you want to cut somebody out for cutting you off in the line. I don't do that anymore, especially not in Turbisha. Because, baby, I ain't trying to... What I look like being in a Beatle trying to cut somebody off? I don't know, bookie butt, but I ain't <laughs> trying to be... I ain't trying to be a part of that. But, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I'm, I'm... I only... There's only, like... Two of my exes or old people I dealt with that I say, like, I absolutely would never get back with them ever in life. It's only two of them that I say that. So I would never say never when it comes to her. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know, the person that she was when we were together, I could say, like, hell no. I wouldn't do that again. I'd just be her friend. But this person she is today, I don't know this person she is. I, them motherfuckers right there, I don't know. Y'all. Testing, testing. Y'all hear that? That's that's the titties. Okay, sorry. But anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. We have to <laughs> see what the future brings. Uh, Sunshine, what would you? Oh, okay. Are y'all messy? Sunshine, what would you do if someone on Lucci's show likes her on the cast? Would you pull up to the house or ignore it? Let me pull up this text message. I just text Lucci. Y'all messy. The other day. Y'all okay. Let me, let me, let me just go on here and say this. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to answer for you. She'll pull up. She'll pull up. She ain't going to. She'll pull up. I told her. I said, I just know if you get a dating show, all you got to do is tell me where y'all going to film at. I ain't even gonna show up with a gun or nothing. And she's talking about, so she ain't gonna tell me until she done filming. I said, wow, my gut just gonna have to bring me to the front door. Cause it will. So, I will definitely pull up. Like I told her, I'll pull up. What's the name? Rerun off of Bobby. Oh, Bobby I love oh, you, Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna be that one. And I promise <laughs> you, I'm gonna be the one that wins. I'm play with it. I cannot baby. believe he pulled up though. He like, yep, I'm on here. What's tea? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And anymore, let me look. Is there any more questions that I missed? Y'all, y'all messy. Like, y'all messy. Um, okay, this is the final one. Oh, do it. Is there anything that you would like to say to each other that you never said during your relationship? Mm. I'm gonna let her go first. Why you always gotta let Okay, you want me to go first? I, I try to do ladies first. You a lady too. I'm a real nigga, baby. I'm a bad bitch and a real nigga. <laughs> same side. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. I, yeah. Okay, I, so. I okay, so. Okay, I'm gonna be for real. I feel like something that I did not say that I used to kind of think about and wonder about is I don't know. I feel like I feel like you used to be kind of like a little sneaky. I used to be thinking that. I said, oh, I used to be thinking it. Why? I don't know. Cause it would just be like, you were always be in your phone while we was together. But then sometimes when we was apart, you would take a long time to text me back. And then not only that, it was just like, I don't know. You was just real, real, like private about like your conversations or something. I feel like, like, I don't you know. know. I, I feel like private. I don't know. I feel like, I don't I like never like talking on the phone. To... I still don't to this day. So and then when I, I rejected like... phone calls, that wasn't because I was being sneaky. I just don't like talking on the phone. Keep going so I can explain myself. You don't got to explain. We no, I'm in the past. I'm finna, no, I don't care. I'm finna, I'm finna explain myself, God damn it. I don't know. And then, you know, people used to always tell me little shit about you fucking with niggas and shit. And I used to be kind of like insecure about it a little but bit. But like, we all know how much niggas but... talk. And if I fucked on a nigga, he'd be but like, I was... hello, it was me. I was that nigga that did it. Well, I'm oh, just saying, oh. I used to feel a type of way. I used to feel like, you know, and then I also used to feel like she really liked the stud. Like she really wanted the stud and not a film. And I'm never going to be a stud. I can't do that. I'm always going to have my makeup, nails, hair. No, I'm always going to be that girl. I don't know how to be no stud. And I used to, because, and you know what? It used to be because, you know, when you used to get mad, you knew that used to be my insecurity. 
So that's what you mm-hmm. used to say to me to hurt my feelings. Like, oh, that's why I really want to be able to stood. So even though she used to, when she had calmed down, she would be like, oh, I didn't really mean that. I was in touch your feelings. Me, I used to still feel secretly feel like that. Like, damn, this, she really want to be able to stood and not me. And I know I can't never be no stud. I'm never going to not have long nails. I'm never going to not have the wigs and the makeup and all that. Like, I'm never going to give like Joanna man. Cleo set it off. I ain't gonna have a wig braids on, Bookie, but well, in my defense, she has to remember that the set the settings of which we were in. When I'm in my phone while we was at it, one of your events, I don't know nobody but you and possibly envy if she was to come. I didn't know anybody but you, so mix yes, and I'm mingle. In my, I'm not a mix and mingle. But that's what you, you dated influencer. But, but, but you dated influencer, that's you, what you gotta do. You know I didn't like going outside though. I like going outside with you, but so you, you know I wasn't an outside sometimes. person. I wanted to go, but I wasn't an outside person, so I don't know how to mix and mingle with people. But tell when me, what's, I, your, what's, your, what's your regret for, with me? No, she finna let me explain myself. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> okay, that's what I was saying. Okay, I'm listening. I wasn't secret to it. I don't give a fuck about the drink. I wasn't secret to you. <laughs> It was a sentence, or sometimes she'd be watching something on TV that I wasn't interested in. So yes, I would be on my phone. She knows I love true crime. Like it took a lot for me to okay, even get. Okay, but to... we both like flavor love and I... stuff like that. That was not all we was watching. What I be it took on me a minute to like... get into the bring it, and it took me a minute to get into Little Women, and you love those two shows. Oh, because they funny. You see, them. they is, but it took Miss me a minute. Miss Juicy Baby, <laughs> but it took me a minute. So yes, I'm scrolling through my phone because I don't. I be stuck in my ways when it comes to stuff that I watch. So if I'm truly not interested in it, because I like true y'all now for know? the people that follow me on Twitter, y'all know I love me some true crime too. Y'all already know that because I'm always talking about it. And they've been y'all been trying to suggest to me to do that true crime, true crime makeup thing. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to concentrate on telling y'all the story and beating my face. I ain't no shit. I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that, child. But I be the girl. I be seeing the girls. Y'all be tagging me and they do it. They they eat it up. That be cute. But I'm gonna be focused on the details. I need to already be beat when I come on there. No shade, but okay. Okay. Um. Don't. The question was something. That Your we, biggest regret that you never said, or something that you wish that you would have said while we was together that you never did. Um. This wig. That I, something that this I wish, wig is eating it up. No something shade. Something I wish it. I never did. No, something like that you wish you would have said or been vocal about during our relationship that you never did, or you kind of regret, or. You know, a way that you felt that you never said, that you never were vocal about, and you kind of regret or um, anything like one that. One thing you was honest about was the people that liked you, but I feel like it was some people that you was being a little reserved about liking you. If you get what I mean, that you brought me around. Which me? Like, like reserved. Somebody, like you told me that, what's his name, the one that passed away, uh-huh. that he liked you. Mm-hmm. You let me know that, but like it'll be other people I felt like we was around that maybe you used to talk to, or maybe they like you more than you think that they do. Mm-hmm. Well, not even that you think that they do, because people be vocal with you about whether they like you or not. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it was some people that you was holding it back to me that they felt that way because you didn't want me to feel no type of way about them. No, I don't think so. I don't think I hear nobody from you because you know I tell you, you know I'm even when I'm friends with my exes, you might to tell you like I'm still friends with so and so all that because I just I'm the reason why I'm so vocal about that is because I don't want it to ever be an instance where even though you never look through my phone, I don't want to alert oh, to come no. up. Or, but I'm just saying I don't want to alert to come up and you see that name and you question me or <laughs> I don't want anything to come to the light and it makes me look questionable. So that's why right. I always be honest. Like, okay, well, I'm still cool with this ex. This person like me. Like, I, I just be wanted to be on the table because I feel like when you don't put it on the table, it look like you have something to have. Mm-hmm. So, and just like with that particular person that passed away that likes me, it was just like, Normally, I would never want to have the person I'm dating around this person. But y'all got to understand, like, this was literally, like, before he admitted to me that he liked me, like, this was literally, like, one of my best friends. Like, I was literally with this person every single day. Like, I didn't have nobody to go with me to my photo shoots. He didn't care. He would drop everything. Craig's in trouble. Come, comes to my photo shoot with me. Like, if I'm having a bad day or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this was, like, I, I was thinking... This was like one of my best male friends because I grew up as a tomboy. I always had a lot of male friends. So in my man, I was just like, dang, this really my homie. I didn't know he eventually was going to express to me like, oh, I really like you. You know what I'm saying? So once he expressed to me that he liked me, 
I had to let him know it ain't that with me. And then I had got a girlfriend and I brought her around. So I thought he was going to get the picture. Like, yeah, hey, you know, I bought it. He but thought he, I was a joke. Yeah, but he started telling me like, oh, that's just a phase. You don't really want to go. <laughs> like, it's for play, play. Like, he was like, uh-uh, shawty, I want you. So it was like, oh, okay. I thought it was going to be different. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, but yeah. So do you have any closing words to say before we end the video? Anything you want to let the people know or anything you want to let me know? Before we go, I don't appreciate you, Hoochie's trying to bring up my past like I didn't already tell her I was a hoe when me and her got together. I let her know, yeah, I was a gay hoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> y'all remember? Oh, y'all remember? A lot of no, no, bitches. I was just talking about it in yeah. one of my T with Luchi V videos, but I didn't say your name. <laughs> so, y'all, this was y'all gonna know now that this is what I was talking about. When I was like, yeah, I ain't dated a girl in the pit that had that kind of past, but I was like, I don't give a fuck, this is my hoe. What y'all like, The thing, the difference is, I was a pillow princess. So I wasn't doing the munching. Yeah, they, they want to know. They want to know. They want to know is you still a pillow princess or is you getting the cracker? They want to know that. I'm still well, a I want to know. Princess. I want to know. I want to say that you was the only one I wasn't a, a really a pillow princess. I can't do the pillow princess. I need. I wasn't one with you. Why? Are you, but when, all right, when why do it matter if, I, if, if I'm with the next bitch? Oh, oh, okay, oh. okay, a pillow princess is not the right word. Do you like to get it cracky? Because you know, at that time, it you know it was like a little yeah. Because we we were supposed to strap each other, and we never got around to it. Oh, that was when we was drunk after that movie. <laughs> I had our, it was in my Amazon. I woke up with it in my Amazon <laughs> cart. Like I'm like, why is there a strap on in my Amazon cart? Like what's happening? <laughs> I'm like, not I put it in the cart. Not I was serious. Like yes. Like okay, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this Q and A up because it's getting long. If you would like to see, y'all already know. Y'all know the routine now. Y'all know the routine when I have a guest on my channel. What happens if y'all like them and y'all want to see them again? Comment down below and let me know. If y'all don't want to see her back, y'all gotta tell me the truth too. Y'all let me know. Say, I'll be <laughs> under the comments, and I swear I be having time. Okay, y'all, I be having time. So don't so, play. Everybody, I, I be fucking with y'all for real. Comment, Even when y'all be trying to tattle on me and shit for no reason, I be fucking with y'all for real. So. Comment down below. Everybody, let me know y'all. Do y'all think we're going to ever get back together or do y'all think it's over with for Finito forever? Comment down below. Let me know the opinions down below. Subscribe, like the video, share the video, follow her. I'm going to put her Instagram right across the screen right here. And then y'all already know, follow me. I'm going to put it across the screen right here. And thank you guys for watching. She's trying to shake them things. Get me demonetized, y'all. All right, now if I start sucking them off camera, then you want... What? Ooh, ooh, hold on. Whoa. Oh, this motherfucker a little sick, too. Yeah, that's... You gonna get me demonetized. <laughs> <laughs>